morning children let's begin today with the first chapter of history the rise of nationalism in europe as we know that many of the european nations were imperialist countries they formed the colonies all over the world and they became the masters of their colonies okay so especially in europe we find that nation states are emerging because of the nationalistic feelings began to form in the minds of people continuously they were ruled by many of the nations in europe they were ruled by monarchs and many countries we know that monarchs had absolute powers absolutist or absolute powers that means complete powers here in the uh, um, absolutism was followed there which means a government or a system were ruled by a particular person or a monarch or ruler he exercised all the powers within him okay in one person all the powers of the government is vested that means a centralized or militarized or they take repressive actions towards the people also we know in our country we have a parliament and also we have a legislature or executive and judiciary power is not centralized it is decentralized there are three such organs executive or legislature and judiciary also so no uh, single organ can take or institution can take uh, any decision it depends upon the others opinion also so but in europe we know the monarchs had absolute powers okay so they implemented or they introduced whatever they liked and there were no questioning of the monarch by the people people or the citizens had no such power to question the monarch we know especially about french revolution we studied last year in class 9 how the people revolted against the monarch and the uh, power of the monarch was curtailed by the constitution the national assembly which prepared now we are also we are coming to study little bit about the uh, different nations or the nation state was formed in europe and especially france also about the french revolution we had studied last year so in 1848 frederick soro he was a french artist he prepared a series of four prints visualizing his dream of the world map of uh, made up of democratic and social republic as he called them one picture or uh, also he, uh, here is given in the um, uh, textbook and here in this picture we know that he made some pictures uh, or drawings in that drawings uh, how he was uh, he wanted to change the uh, his country or the entire world into democratic setup from monarchy many of the countries were turning into democracy so here uh, one picture or figure is given in the uh, first page of the chapter it is visualizing his dream he wants to get uh, such a kind of democratic nation also social republics he is a democratic and social republics such kind of uh, nation states wanted to be formed so in the first print we know that the series or uh, first print of the series shows the people of europe and america men and women of all ages all social classes you know men and women people of america and europe all men and women all ages children everyone and all social classes there is no difference they are all together all different we know that in france we have studied previous class previous uh, last year there were three different classes in the society which were called the three estates such kind of wide disparities or wide division was there between these three groups here in the picture it shows all classes of people all ages of people they are all marching towards okay marching in a long train or and offering homage to the statue of liberty when they are passing by that means they were all all 
small categories of people are marching towards somewhere on the way they found the statue of liberty liberty means freedom statue of liberty and they are uh, paying homage to the offering homage to the statue of liberty we will recall all these artists the time of the french revolution during that period first uh, this uh, french revolution personified liberty as a female figure we know that uh, very important freedom equality and liberty these were the important principles uh, emerged from uh, french revolution it was spread all over the world so liberty during that period what is liberty liberty was figured as a female statue or female figure liberty they personified as a female figure so here also the statue of liberty was there they paid homage to the liberty and they were moving away moving further forward so in that we can find in this figure the a torch of enlightenment she hands uh, she bears a torch in her one hand okay in one hand there is a torch she handled there and uh, this is uh, this shows that torch of enlightenment knowledge or wisdom so people from their um, darkness that means uh, uneducated or people who had uh, not much knowledge about democracy now people are coming to learn more about democracy so that the torch simply uh, symbolizes the uh, enlightenment okay and in another hand she is handling or holding the charter of rights of men in okay what is the charter of rights of men and uh, this is the principle of the rights of men like a constitution when we prepare the uh, rules and regulations or the principles of rights of human beings that charter or that book she is handling in a another hand so on the earth in the ground we can find in the ground uh, and uh, there is also image of the shattered remains of the symbols of absolute institutions and what is absolutist institutions so that buildings of uh, uh, power which we know that uh, um, in the last year also in french revolution we studied uh, people uh, destroyed the bastille prison and also the the nobles buildings okay the rich people landlords or nobles buildings or manors uh, all were or their castles were destroyed so here also in front of that picture in front of the liberty or people are marching towards uh, then we can find the remains of broken pieces of the buildings are there what is broken pieces or the bricks and all these buildings materials are thrown here and there what is that shown the absolute institutes okay that means the kings uh, palaces or such kind of castles and such buildings are broken down and its remains are thrown in the ground so that means uh, here it is uh, thrown away that means absolute power or absolutism is ended and in soros okay in uh, frederick soros uh, utopian vision what is utopian vision the people of the world are grouped as a distinct nations identified through the flags and national costume so here in his utopian vision utopian vision means uh, what is the view or uh, uh, vision or the uh, view of the um, person here the frederick soro which sometimes may not be actually existing or something imagination we can say utopian ideology or utopian view means something which does not exist but it's an imagination it will come true we dream that it may come true but sometimes maybe or may not be uh, become true in real life so here his utopian view that vision that people of the world are grouped as a distinct nations a particular nations okay we know that we are indians uh, we have an identity as indians so why with a single flag so uh, they have uh, they all nations in the uh, world have their own uh, flags and the national costumes also we know when we are in our country we have diverse culture so that uh, whenever wherever we go to other states in different states we can find the people all have their own costume different costumes are there okay so these are we from this national flag or national uh, 
costume so we can identify people are people uh, who belong to particular nation so leading the procession procession on the march uh, the uh, people are moving forward we pass uh, then on the way we can find the statue of liberty or the united states and switzerland which also by their way already nation states so these all countries are coming the people of belonging to different countries united states and other european countries are all one by one coming so here we can find the united nations and usa united states that means usa and uh, switzerland these countries also we can find they have already uh, became nation states by this time they became nation states so then coming other countries of europe especially france we are france is on the way to get freedom okay liberty and freedom we know that uh, france is also identified by the tricolor flag or revolutionary tricolor flag the people who are holding the tricolor flag is identified as and uh, uh, as france then again we can find they are also reached the statue coming towards the statue reaching it is followed by france is followed by the peoples of germany they are bearing the black red and gold flag so that from their flag we can identify that is germany so here when during this time when soro created this image the german people did not exist as a united nation and uh, the flag they carry is an expression of liberal hopes in for 1848 to unify the numerous german speaking principalities into one nation state under a democratic constitution we know that uh, during this period 1848 uh, the Ger um, germany was not a single nation okay but their flag uh, is giving a hope that uh, showing a hope that uh, soon germany also will become a democratic constitution or democratic uh, nation so that is what it is given all those who are willing or wishing to become a uh, nation states are uh, shown here so here all the german speaking people or the principalities together will be constituted as one german uh, germany or nation so after germany we know that there are also many other countries people from austria the kingdom of two sicilies and lombardy poland england ireland hungary and russia they are following the germany that means that these all nations are going to become nation states so these all regions we know there were there were no particular uh, the boundaries for all these nations it was completely spread from one nation to the other the present day whatever we call the nation states were not in the same form they were merged with the other countries also so here uh, now you can see here in the picture shows on the top in the heaven in the sky or in the heaven who are there some uh, we can find the christ saints and angels they are gazing upon the scene they are observing the people all this is seen from the heaven so they also have we can find that they have been used by the artist to symbolize the fraternity among the nations of the world that means uh, this picture shows that all the countries in the world are united together so they all have a cooperation and the solidarity or friendly relations with the other nations so, so this chapter this picture shows uh, such kind of feelings among the people so here we can find many other issues are also uh, discussed or visualized by frederick soro okay so during the 19th century we can find the nationalism emerged as a force which brought about sweeping changes in the political and mental world of europe complete changes occurring in europe because when nationalist feelings emerged in the minds of people so political changes are occurring because we know that when nation states are emerged uh, the monarchy was over overthrown or uh, monarchy was uh, uh, abolished so democracy uh, was uh, uh, implemented in europe so the end result of these changes was the emergence of nation state in place of multinational dynastic 
empires of Europe. The empires or the monarchy was abolished and nation states or independent nation states were emerged. So the concept and practices of the modern state in which the centralized power existed, sovereign control over a clearly defined territory. We know that a particular area, not like the imperial countries, imperial nations which had colonies all over the world. Instead of that, a smaller nation state emerged with a proper boundary or territory so that uh, here we can find a nation state was one which uh, had majority of its citizens where not only the its rulers came to develop a sense of common identity shared and uh, those who have a common history or common identity they also belonging to a continuously common descent so all these people and who were talking in the similar language same language all were united together and formed as one nation that is what we call the nation state so here their languages and uh, language may be uh, same, same their culture and traditions may be same all these uh, together were formed as one nation that is what we call as nation state so in the uh, this uh, uh, here also one more thing important thing we can say Ernest Renan and uh, in his uh, book or he uh, in the lectures he delivered a speech to the people also in the lectures he uh, used to explain the people what is a nation the concept of nation what is a country or what is a nation so he was uh, uh, we know that the university of uh, in the university of uh, sorbonne in 1882 the french philosopher he was ernest renan Okay, Ernest Renan was a French philosopher in 1882. He outlined his understanding what makes a nation, what is the concept of a nation, what is a country. So, the, like, in this lecture, he published his most famous essay, which was entitled as Quest Sequin Nation. Quest Sequin Nation, which means what is a nation in their language. In this essay, Renan criticizes the notion suggested by others that a nation is formed by common language, race, religion or territory. Here he criticizes that a nation should have the concept of a nation which has a common religion or race and territory. So a nation is the culmination of a long past endeavors, sacrifice and devotion. What do we say about uh, in order to achieve independence, we know that many people sacrificed their life and uh, devoted for the achieving the independence. Such a way, a nation is a culmination of a long past endeavors. So, continuous efforts by the people here is devoted their life for the uh, and even sacrificed their life for the uh, nation. So, a heroic past we have great men and glory. We have a glorious past and also great men who sacrificed their life for the nation and such common will in the present to have performed great uh, deeds, uh, deeds in the uh, past. We know that these people in their uh, great deeds or actions made our country as a nation. So here also uh, here we can find the existence of a daily plebiscite also means the people's opinion, people's right to vote or people's opinion also as a vote is implemented in this nations also. When we talk about nation, what is a nation or a nation state, all these uh, with we have achieved this greatness from our continuous efforts for many centuries okay, from uh, abolishing monarchy and becoming a nation state. In the coming class, we will study more about the French Revolution revolution and the idea of nation. So nation states how began to originate in Europe.